it's Brock here from Rock Hill Farms and I've had kind of a long day but here I am at 10 o'clock at night out here in the shop ready to make some modifications because what I've got in this box and what I have in that box has me too excited to wait till tomorrow to get started on it. So if you've been watching this channel for long you know that I've been through a few different versions of third function hydraulics. When I bought the tractor, I got the Power Beyond kit, and then I got the dual rear remotes. And at first I ran those dual rear remotes, or one set of the rear remotes, up to the front to run my grapple. It wasn't a very good setup. Um, I had trouble getting the hoses ran very well to where they didn't move around when you move the loader or move the grapple. I just wasn't happy with it. So the next thing I did was I had the dealership install hard lines and run those down the loader and tie into a soft line. Same place the rest of the front end loader ports connect and those were still run off of the rear remotes. That was a lot better. You know, I had a, a fixed line on the front, but I still didn't like using a lever over here to control my hydraulics. So I got the Artillion Diverter Kit, and that diverter's been great, but I've actually damaged it. So when I installed the cab, well, let me back up. When I first installed the diverter, I made a video showing the entire process, and I tucked the wiring up tightly under the floorboard where it couldn't get messed up. Well, when I redid the cab, or when I installed the cab, I had to pull that wiring down, and then I didn't get it tucked up well. I snagged it on some brush and ripped it out. So I've got to repair that wiring tonight, and probably I needed to do it a little bit better anyway. But then I have another new option, and this is something I've been wanting for a while. And I've actually got another idea that just came to me tonight about how I can do this. What, what's in this box is a splitter manifold. This splitter manifold works in conjunction with that Artillion diverter. It's made by Artillion and it's going to replace my single port but now I have a splitter manifold, which allows me to run two sets of hydraulics. Um, still controlled by one lever, so they're both going to operate at the same time. But I can now power two hydraulic cylinders at a time. And what I've realized is, I have, still have that other set of lines. I could actually do it in a couple of different combinations. But we'll get to that after I get this installed. I'm going to go ahead and set this box off to the side until we're ready for it. But I'd say probably a few of you already have a good idea what's in the box. Alright, so my current hydraulic setup, right now I've got my grapple running off of these lines. You see they're hard lines on the loader. These go back to my rear remotes. Then right here, you have the manifold that I can plug these same lines into if I want to run it off my diverter. And that's what I usually do. But right now I have it plugged in here. We'll go ahead and unhook that. I'll go ahead and grab the instructions, but I'm pretty sure the first thing that I'm going to do is take the clamp off right here and open that up. Yep, looks pretty simple. Take that one off, put this one on. So, see if this fits. Nope, wrong size nut driver. Let's see if we got one for here. And we do. Lucky day. Alright. Alright. 
right, so I'm not the sharpest knife in the drawer, but it looks like these two cup fittings right here will screw off and the hoses will screw right there. And then this just clamps on. Probably should clean this rail first. Normally I bring the, the whole tractor up here and power wash it before I bring it in, but I'd loaned out my power washer, so I didn't do that tonight. So as I was getting ready to put that splitter on, this clamp would just barely reach around and um, actually looked like it was going to be hard to get in. But then in the box, there's one exactly like it, but about three or four inches longer. So for mine, I'm going to switch to those longer ones. All right, now that I've switched to the longer straps, this should be pretty straightforward. Feed that in. I can move it a little closer to the middle just so I can get the, the hoses on when I'm done. All right, there's one. Now that splitter's held on. All right, so this end is a 9 16 This fitting is larger than my wrench set that I have out here. So I'm gonna use a set of channel locks. I know it's better to always use the right wrench, but I think it'll be all right. And black to black, yellow to yellow. Now we have a 9 16 and an 11 16 As you're tightening these fittings up, the fitting swivels, but the hose is already attached at the diverter on the other end. So you don't want to turn the wrench that's on the hose. You want to turn the wrench that's on the fitting. If you do have to turn the wrench that's on the hose to um, gain the next flat on the main nut, then you can do that just turn it back so that you're not getting your hose twisted. All right, so putting that splitter manifold on was pretty easy. Didn't take very long at all. I really didn't think it would, but um, I'm glad to have it done. Now I've got to wire up that diverter and I've already done a full video on installing this diverter and I'm going to redo the electrical wiring the same way I did the first time. So I won't show that all in video again, but if you've been wondering or maybe you've already guessed what's in the other box, it is another grapple for my grapple. So. As I've explained in other videos, this is a modular system from Artillion, which allows you to use one frame to attach all different types of things to it. And one of the setups I had is a grapple. And, you know, something interesting is I've had this grapple, I've shown it on the channel a lot of times, done whole videos about this grapple, but there were a couple features to it that I didn't even realize. And other ways to configure what I already had. And now I'm adding an extra grapple. So I've got a lot of different configurations and different ways that I should be able to clamp on to a load better than I could before. So I'm really excited to try that out. Um, but really, it's almost 11 o'clock at night. I'm not gonna give, be able to give a good demonstration on that. So. Tomorrow, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to pick up some irregular loads, show you the different configurations on the grapple, and have a little fun. So I hope you come back tomorrow and check that video out. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video, and I'll see you next time.